Good morning. Out walking Sammy. Beautiful morning. Today is errand day. I'm gonna go do some laundry, get a few groceries. It's beautiful out here. Hardly a soul in sight. All right, I went to go get my truck to do errands and my batteries are dead. <laughs> so, so I thought this was a good time to check the water in my camper batteries because it's a full system unless I unplug the camper from the truck. So I thought, oh, and I've been meaning to check the water and the batteries and I've been carrying around a bottle of distilled water well half a bottle um and yeah sure enough they were dry one don't have enough water for the other one so anyway we well, had a little bit and we went ahead and checked deborah's battery and put some in her so anyway long story i kind of noticed it not starting really good the other morning i guess that was friday so I probably need to check to see if these batteries are bad or the alternator because it seemed like the alternator charged them, but today's Monday and it wouldn't start. But, so I disconnected the truck from the camper. The camper batteries showed okay. So I thought, well, I'll see if I can start the generator. Yes, I'm running the generator. But this is kind of a good system because one will charge the other, other will charge the other. But in the same token, one will drain the other. <laughs> so, um, I had this happen again uh, once before in Colorado, and I hooked my solar panel. You can see my solar panel hooked up to my truck right there, charging it. But so now that the generator's running and it started fine, so that tells me that the camper batteries weren't bad or dead. So that brings me back to I probably need to get the truck batteries checked. So anyway, um, I gotta go get some more distilled water and do that other battery. And But I'm gonna let this run for a little bit and see if it starts. Safety first. Lead acid battery. Flush. Okay, I'm finally on the road. <laughs> First things first, lunch. I gotta get me something to eat. And then I'm gonna look for some uh, distilled water here in Quartzsite. And then I might stop by CarQuest and see if they can test uh, my batteries um, versus my alternator just to, just to rule that. Oh roll that out <clears throat> and um, I was gonna do laundry today but I don't know that I'm gonna do that <laughs> um, because Cassandra Long Band's playing today and it's beer bellies day so I might do laundry tomorrow well of course I have trash to get rid of and the trash is full so, I hate to put it in there. I'm going to go across the street and see if it's better. Because that's just crazy. Okay, this is much better. We 
We've had to come over here several times this year. Just ride up on this ramp. Woohoo! Okay, I'm gonna go into Coyote Fresh and get, I think, some chicken legs if they have any. Um, they're pretty good. So I'll see if they have distilled water here. If not, there's a family dollar right behind us. So I'll go there if, um, but I'm hungry. I gotta eat first. Let's go. Is it done? I showed you the chicken and the spaghetti. They didn't have enough chicken legs, so I opted out of chicken because one wouldn't have been enough. <laughs> So, maybe it's McDonald's. It's a McDonald's kind of day, maybe. And been, well, went to McDonald's once and got a Diet Coke. But I haven't eaten at McDonald's yet this year, so let's go to McDonald's. <laughs> That's on the inside, usually. On a Patsy Klein song. Keep it and I'm gonna put it on the wall at my house, right? I try to clean it. A little bit. I mean, just that. did get to the grocery store and um, picked up a few things but tomorrow I'm gonna go do laundry and I need to go to RV lifestyle and pick up a part I need to show you what part that I had them I had to have them I had to have them I had to have them order a part for me I looked for a part when I was in Texas, um, my air conditioner quit working in Texas. Uh, of course, I don't need it right now, but I um, I think I called three or four places in Texas for the part, and then now as I was driving across Texas and New Mexico, I stopped at several RV dealerships looking for this part and of course they said they couldn't find it they couldn't get them anymore since you know when and so I said you know what I'm just gonna wait until I get to court site I'll go to RV lifestyles they'll take care of it and sure enough walked in there and um, they called got the part ordered it and they got it about four days later so, I'm going to go do that tomorrow. I will show you um, the part. It kind of burned up. So, <laughs> anyway, I'll get up here or I'll show you in the morning when I head to RV Lifestyles. So, it's going to be a beautiful sunset. See that? <laughs> I see Sammy Joe nose prints on the window. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a beautiful sunset all right I'm headed home you have to go slow out here you dust everybody out it's pretty dusty behind me Look at some of these camps. They got garages. They added on a room. Pretty cool, huh? TVA. 
obviously. It's a ham radio person. He's got one, two, three, four. Four antennas, I think. Connected to his camper. I can't see him very well, but several on his van. But, you know, you can just come out here and make yourself at home. See Deborah and Sammy and Bandit. <laughs> Deborah's waving. Okay? Okay. Let's park. Okay? Can I park? Let's go. Where am I supposed to park? Come on. Let's go. <laughs> right here? <gasps> They're the babies. <laughs> 